Welcome to my CEH version 9 Cybex book review. We're doing chapter 18, Cloud Technologies and Security. So the nice thing here is we're going to be talking things like as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, things of this nature. So things like as a service or software as a service, they're going to be something like uh, Office 365. That's going to be Word uh, online, for example, as you need it on the fly. It eliminates the need to install and maintain applications on individual computers since it's web-based. Things like platform as a service could be uh, software developers use uh, this as a framework to build applications. Again, it's managed typically by someone else and someone provides you the platform as needed. Infrastructure as a service is a self-service model which access uh, to a configure and use all levels of infrastructure from routers, switches, firewalls down to servers. This could be again hardware and or virtualized hardware. There's a few different types of cloud solutions. Cloud solutions could be things like a private cloud, a private public cloud, private cloud, combination or community cloud. A uh, private cloud is one that you manage by yourself and, or your organization manages and retains all control. Public cloud could be something like a third party like uh, Google or Dropbox or Microsoft System Center. All of those could be public or hybrid clouds because a hybrid is going to be a combination of both. It could be partial uh, public and partial private. So... Lastly is that community, and that's going to be shared by several organizations with common uh, resource needs and common security goals. Some threats is, again, large data breaches. Uh, that's always a big one. Data loss, accountability, uh, web-based uh, DDoS attacks or uh, denial of service attacks. Uh, sometimes it's insecure data transfers, data management, data access. Sometimes it's data management in countries that the data resides on that may not be America, where data breach laws may not affect them. Uh, example, Sony PlayStation Network may have uh, data stored in China, Australia, the U.S., and if there's a data breach at the data center in Australia. That data breach is subject to Australia law, not US law. So keep things like that in mind. Sadly, a lot of cloud technology is also malicious software. And sometimes it's just poor security practices within the managing of that cloud service, making things are things are up to date. That's pretty simple, but something that a lot of people don't bother to do. Uh, sometimes cloud services are a primary target, not the devices. Jennifer Lawrence nude photos, they broke into iCloud, not her phone. Her photos were backed up in iCloud, thus her naked photos got leaked. We also have the uh, multi-talented, which is our multi-tenants. That's going to be where we have several clients on one machine or sell a server on one machine, again, virtualization. Lastly, we have to understand the laws and regulations that may apply to cloud-based technologies because again, where are they physically located and what are the contracts? How do they do, uh, word the contracts? Cloud computing attacks could also be things like session writing. This is gonna be a, a, something like a cross-site uh, request or forgery, it could be a side channel attack. Basically, they start trying to attack you because they want to prove certain skills or signature wrapping attacks. This is altering, uh, altering a web service or XML code so that they can gain access. Certain cloud controls, it's going to be secured uh, design and architecture are really important here. Being able to, again, do the CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. 
making sure that there are certain policies, procedures, and other governance items in place for control of those cloud-based securities, risk management, basic compliance, as again, the data that you're dealing with. Also think about that availability. Since we talked about CIA, that availability, things like QoS and service level, service level agreements, uptime, and what does that actually mean? Lastly, we have testing. And again, there are so many testing softwares out there that you can test security on your cloud um, service that there are more and more every day. But the big thing is there are ways to test services. And actually, that's pretty much for this chapter. It was pretty short, pretty straight to the point. If you have any questions or have any comments, please let me know.